God, our Heavenly Father, in this Eucharist, in this blessed sacrament, we acknowledge your presence unto us. We worship you, we adore you, we glorify you. Lord Jesus Christ, in this blessed sacrament, we proclaim your presence. We worship you, we adore you, and we glorify you. O Holy Spirit, the power from above, in this great sacrament of love, we see you we worship you, we adore you, we glorify you. O Lord, fill our hearts with your love, that we may experience your presence at this time in our body, mind and soul, that we are able to offer ourselves completely unto you, to find joy and peace in these moments when we are in your presence, worshipping and adoring you with all the angels and saints. Give us the experience of your kingdom in our heart. Strengthen our faith and deepen our love for you. Enkindle our anointing that we have received in baptism and sacrament. Thank you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Adore you, Lord, and glorify you. We bless your holy name. Abba, Father. Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, we glorify you. Every time when we come to worship and adore the Lord in this 
blessed sacrament we are proclaiming unto the world proclaiming before the world that this is the lord and savior of our life to him we belong him we believe him we trust he guides our life He is capable of everything. There is nothing impossible for him. And I trust in him. This is what we proclaim when we come to worship the Lord, adore the Lord in this blessed sacrament. Thank you, Lord. Let us spend some time in silence but our heart worshiping him we are silent and not making any noise we are not saying anything but our heart is communicating with the lord our heart is worshiping him our heart is adoring him with all the angels and saints with every heartbeat we say unto him I worship you Lord. I adore you Lord. I glorify you. Let us spend some time presence of the Lord experiencing him. today the saturday before the palm sunday celebration the sunday of the passion of the lord entering into the holy week of the passion of the lord culminating in the resurrection of jesus we are preparing to celebrate the passion of the lord his death and his resurrection the gospel today during the holy mass we had a reading from the gospel according to saint john where the authority of the people of israel the religious authority feeling threatened with the presence of the lord among the people because he 
teaches them good things and he is converting their hearts they are believing in Jesus and following him they felt threatened and the presence of Jesus for them could lead to something like romans coming and destroying the whole nation the pagans or in other words pagans coming and destroying the people of god because jesus because of jesus and many following jesus now an immediate cause for them was the resurrection of bringing back Lazarus was brought back from death to life by Jesus that was their immediate reason look at the life of Jesus in the gospels we see Jesus has done nothing wrong he has done everything good he has completed everything according to the will of his father dear sisters and brothers how wonderful was the life of jesus on the earth he lived not for him but he lived for the will of his father he gave his life according to the will of the father for the salvation of each and every one in the human being including me o oh lord how possessed were you to do the will of the father You never took your eye from doing the will of the Father. Nothing could deviate you. Nothing could tempt you. Nothing could discourage you. Even the sufferings. Even what people think about you. What people talk about you. Even people question to you. they try to push you down the cliff they try to make you king but nothing could discourage you the controversy is about you about your origins about your life nothing could discourage you alone At this time we pray for that grace to stay focused upon you O oh Lord to experience your love in our heart every moment that we never been discouraged we are never discouraged but always stay in your love give us the grace O oh Lord O oh Lord you touched with your word with your action the hearts of everyone all those who came with a disturbed heart unto you a disturbed and weak body unto you you touched them you healed them you consoled them you anointed them you protected them oh lord we pray for that grace to touch the life of everyone through our life a life that is focused upon you a life that imbibes grace from you thank you lord worship you lord adore you lord we pray touch our hearts oh lord especially as we are entering into the moments entering into the holy week celebration 
give us the grace to have our hearts fixed on you every moment so that we lead a holy life a holier life touch our hearts oh lord change our heart transform our heart now offer unto the lord all our prayer intentions a prayer for the holy catholic church a prayer for the whole world especially interceding for the people struggling with covid-19 people in the hospitals
those who are critically ill and being supported with life support systems people who are mentally broken down people those who lost their job livelihood and hope people stranded in different parts of the world whatever prayer and intention you feel like lifting up from your heart and to the lord at this time please say all your prayers and to the lord at this time believing that our lord is merciful our lord is our loving father I so offer all our prayers unto you. So we remember our family members. as we are about to enter into the holy week celebrations let us offer the holy catholic church and we pray in a special way more and more anointing upon the clergy of the church those who are leading the worship those who are celebrating the liturgy and those who are breaking the word for the people of god we offer the bond to the lord especially we pray for your parish priest and all the services in your parish asking the lord for more and more anointing upon the clergy upon your priests and also through the service upon you to experience more and more love of the lord in your heart now we shall kneel down before our lord and just a little announcement that during the holy week from tomorrow evening to easter sunday evening we will not have online adoration that is palm sunday evening to easter sunday evening we will not have online adoration we will resume our adoration online from monday after easter evening onwards and good friday onwards we start novena to divine mercy good friday we have the divine mercy novena at 8 am 
Holy Saturday also we have it at 8 a.m. And Easter Sunday onwards we have it at 7.45 a.m. before the Holy Eucharist. Now we shall kneel down, singing together, down in adoration, falling, entering into the moments of benediction. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us pray the divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.
Thank you.